Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be discussing two types of medical devices used to measure blood oxygen levels, pulse oximeters and co-oximeters. Both devices are important tools for monitoring patients in a clinical setting, but they differ in their capabilities and applications. We will go over what each device does, how they work, and the potential benefits of each. So, let's get started. A pulse oximeter is a non-invasive medical device used to measure the oxygen saturation levels in a patient's blood. It works by emitting light through the patient's skin and measuring the amount of light that is absorbed by the blood. The device then calculates the patient's oxygen saturation level by comparing the amount of absorbed light to the amount of unabsorbed light. A pulse oximeter works by using two wavelengths of light, typically red and infrared. The device is placed on a patient's fingertip, earlobe, or toe and the line is transmitted through the tissue and blood vessels. The amount of light that is absorbed by the blood is then measured and used to calculate the patient's oxygen saturation level. What are the potential benefits of a pulse oximeter? Non-invasive. A pulse oximeter is a non-invasive device that does not require a blood sample. This makes it a safe and painless way to monitor a patient's oxygen saturation levels. Pulse oximeters are easy to use and require minimal training. They are often used in home healthcare settings, as well as in hospitals and clinics. A pulse oximeter provides immediate results, allowing healthcare providers to quickly monitor a patient's oxygen saturation levels and make any necessary adjustments to their treatment. A co-oximeter is a medical device used to measure the various forms of hemoglobin in a patient's blood, including oxygenated, deoxygenated, and carboxyhemoglobin. It provides a more detailed analysis of a patient's blood than a pulse oximeter and is often used in critical care settings. A call oximeter works by using spectrophotometry to measure the various forms of hemoglobin in a patient's blood. The device uses multiple wavelengths of light to determine the amount of each type of hemoglobin present in the blood sample. What are the potential benefits of a call oximeter? A call oximeter provides a more detailed analysis of a patient's blood than a pulse oximeter. It is able to measure the different forms of hemoglobin, which can provide important information about a patient's health status. Coloxometers are often used in critical care settings, such as in the intensive care unit, to monitor patients with respiratory failure or carbon monoxide poisoning. Coloxometers can help in diagnosing conditions such as anemia, carbon monoxide poisoning, and sickle cell disease. While both pulse oximeters and co-oximeters are used to measure blood oxygen levels, there are some key differences between the two. Pulse oximeters measure only oxygen saturation levels, while co-oximeters provide a more detailed analysis of the different forms of hemoglobin present in the blood. Co-oximeters are generally considered to be more accurate than pulse oximeters as they provide a more detailed analysis of a patient's blood. Pulse oximeters are commonly used in a variety of healthcare settings, while co-oximeters are primarily used in critical care settings. Pulse oximeters are ideal for monitoring oxygen saturation levels in patients with respiratory issues or during surgery. Co-oximeters are useful in diagnosing and treating conditions like carbon monoxide poisoning or anemia. Pulse oximeters are generally less expensive than co-oximeters, making them a more practical choice for home healthcare settings or for patients who require frequent monitoring. Both pulse oximeters and co-oximeters are important medical devices used to monitor blood oxygen levels. Pulse oximeters are a non-invasive and easy-to-use option that provides immediate results and is suitable for monitoring oxygen saturation levels in a variety of healthcare settings. Co-oximeters, on the other hand, provide a more detailed analysis of a patient's blood and are useful in critical care settings or when diagnosing certain conditions. Ultimately, the choice between the two devices will depend on the specific needs of the patient and the clinical situation. As always, it is important to use these devices under the guidance of a healthcare provider. Thank you for watching.